Hey, what's up everyone? Now that many of us have put on the quarantine 15, summer is here and we're ready to shed off those pounds. Today, I'm gonna to share some tips with you to help you on your way. I'm Risa Morimoto, your host, and you're watching Modern Aging, where we chat about innovative and holistic ways to optimize our health and well-being as we age. When you click on that little red button below that says subscribe on it with that little bell next to it, you'll be sure to be notified whenever a new episode is uploaded. You can also sign up onto our email list to get the news of our latest and upcoming programs on our website at thisismodernaging.com. So there's no getting around the fact that many of us are gaining weight and it's not really a good sign for our overall health. Two thirds, two thirds of Americans are considered overweight or obese. We have got to get better food in our systems, get stress out of our lives, and more physical activity in our daily routine. Food that is cheap tends to be less healthy, and if it's easy, there's a good chance that it's highly processed. The problem is, is that most of us are looking to go cheap and easy as time and money squeeze us tighter and tighter these days. We need to, and we want to create healthier habits so that when we do get triggered by those bag of chips, we know how not to succumb to that crispy, unstoppable, addictive snack. So what is your ideal weight? There are math calculations that you can look up online that one can do to find out what that magic number is, but honestly, I prefer to recognize that we're all bio-individual, meaning we all have different body types, shapes, and sizes, that we may be the same height, but may have different ideal weights. Some of us have more muscle than fat, some have more fat than muscle, some have big boobs, some have smaller boobs, wider hips, smaller hips. We can do some intuitive thinking on what we believe our ideal weight is. You know, that sweet spot where we feel really good in our skin, where we're able to move around without becoming out of breath. Weight is just one slice of that overall wellness pie. If you focus too much on weight, calorie counting and numbers, then you're actually gonna put other areas of your life into suffering. Assess how you feel. Do you feel heavy and lethargic? Do you feel bloated? Create a goal to feel fit, energetic, and self-confident. That said, there are things that we can do to create better habits that will help shed the pounds so that we are well on our way towards a healthier lifestyle. This is not about fast diets, you know, and trending diets, or it's about changing our lifestyle. You know, diets are temporary and don't work long term. So try some of these things. Number one, drink more water. Replace juices and sodas with water. That includes diet drinks as well. The sugar in these drinks are just empty calories and those who drink sugary drinks actually have a tendency to eat more calories during the day. If you don't like the taste of plain water, try infusing it with your favorite fruit. This works really well with berries or citrus fruits like lemons or oranges. You can get one of those water bottles where they have you know, the compartment where you could put in the fruit to infuse it or buy one of those soda carbonating machines that have soda water with fruit, and then have soda water with, with fruit. I put some link, links to some recommended products in the description section below. Number two, eat more whole foods. When you eat healthy fats, complex carbs, and lean proteins, they provide the nutrition that you need and the fullness that you desire. Healthy fats include avocados, olive oil, and fish. Complex carbs are essentially carbs that take longer to break down, and they haven't been stripped of all of its nutritional value in order to give it a longer shelf life. Examples include whole grains like brown rice, whole wheat, or oats, and lean proteins like quinoa, beans, seeds and nuts, and vegetables. Fibers from plants, also something you should get, make sure that you get servings of. It helps you feel fuller longer, so you're less likely to reach out for those snacks right after a meal. Foods that are a good source of fiber, you can try almonds, apples, avocados, Brussels sprouts, seeds, eggplants, berries, and so much more. And there's a double bonus. Eating good amounts of fiber supports gut health as well, which is super important when it comes to maintaining a healthy weight. Number three, crowd out. To get rid of all of your unhealthy eating habits all at once is actually not realistic and it also kind of sets you up for failure. But you can perhaps commit to adding one or two whole foods to your daily meals each day. Have an apple for a snack instead of a bag of popcorn. The more you choose to eat these healthy foods, the more you're gonna to start to crave them and naturally crowd out the other unhealthier choices. Number four, reduce additives. Some chemical compounds contribute to weight gain by affecting your body's ability to metabolize fat, believe it or not. They're called endocrine disruptors. Some of the major ones you wanna avoid are BPA, you may have heard of that. It's found in a lot of plastics and cans. Perfluoric octanoic acid, it's that non-stick coating that's used in frying pans. Pesticides found in a lot of non-organic foods. 
and phthalates, which are chemicals found in plastic. Number five, manage your stress levels. So here's the thing about stress. It's kind of a double whammy. When you're stressed out, it actually triggers hormones in your body to go into fat storage mode, where it becomes more efficient in storing the fat. And then on top of that, when you're stressed out, you're more likely to suffer from emotional eating. Eating, you know, fatty, sugary foods that bring immediate comfort. Ice cream, anyone? We've all been there. So when our bodies are more drawn to high calorie, high fat foods when we're stressed out, our bodies are also more efficient into turning it into fat. So what can you do? You need to chill. You need to de-stress, whether that's deep breathing, music, yoga, go for a walk, hard physical exercise, meditation. Find something that's going to help you de-stress. Number six, cook food at home. Learning to cook at home is one of the kindest, best things you can do for yourself. You can control what you eat, how much you eat, how much salt and fat is in the food. We all love going to restaurants once in a while, but the reality is, is that the portions are likely bigger than you need and the salt, fat, and sugar content is higher. So if you're looking to reach your ideal weight, then cook more at home. There are tons and tons of recipes online, and if you don't cook, subscribe to a meal kit delivery company. We've partnered with Splendid Spoon, which makes great bowls, smoops, and smoothies, or uh, you can try Nutrition for Longevity, healthy, balanced meals made from non-GMO certified organic foods. You can find links to both of those companies down in the section below. Number seven, get enough sleep. This is huge. This is a huge issue for so millions of people. When you don't get enough sleep, it screws up your circadian rhythm, which can increase inflammation in the body, which then in turn can create conditions that lead to weight gain. When you're sleep deprived, your body actually produces more ghrelin. It's a hormone that signals you to eat. You ever get those midnight munchies? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Lack of proper sleep also raises cortisol levels, which then leaves fat around your midsection. Nice, right? Some of the things you can do to get to sleep, well, you can try to go to bed at the same time every night. Don't eat too close to bedtime. Turn off your electronics and don't be looking at your phone right before you go to bed. Try meditation. Take a shower or a bath to relax or try melatonin or try CBD oil. I do a mixture of some of these things before heading off to bed each night. Number eight, exercise. This should be really obvious, but it's not the obvious choice for everyone. Working out not only helps with weight loss, but it also helps to relieve stress and gives your, metabol gives your metabolism a boost. Whatever it is, make sure you get some sort of physical activity every single day. It could be a brisk walk, a jog, a dance, yoga, bike ride. Just move your body. It'll be really hard for you to achieve your ideal body weight without doing some sort of exercise. And as we get older, it becomes even more critical. So make it a habit that you can't live without. But if you're one of those who doesn't, just is not into regular exercise, don't beat yourself up. Just start easy. Then make small incremental improvements. 1%. 1% every day. And then before you know it, it's going to become a part of your lifestyle. Number nine, maintain a healthy mindset. If you dread any of the suggestions, it's going to be really hard for you to make any headway. It all starts here. Find ways to get some enjoyment out of even some of the suggestions. And then you're more likely to find success. Maybe have a friend or an accountability partner to do it with. The happier you are as you continue on this path towards healthy living, the more likely you are to stick with it. You can create a reward system. For example, if you do one hour of exercise four or five times a week, then you can buy those favorite pair of shoes that you've been eyeing. At a certain point, you're actually going to start feeling the rewards inside so that you won't be seeking them outside so much. So there you have it, nine ways to help you achieve your ideal weight. If you thought this video was helpful, give it a like. Please share it with your friends and family. I would love to hear what works and doesn't work for you, so share it in the comments section below. If you haven't subscribed yet, I welcome you. I invite you to do so by clicking on that red button below and the little bell next to it so you'll be notified whenever a new episode is uploaded. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time on Modern Aging.